Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be making the crochet old-fashioned throw today. You are going to need a worsted weight 4 yarn. I used Lion Brand's Touch of Cashmere. And this entire blanket is using the mini bean stitch. This Touch of Cashmere yarn is super squishy and soft and creates a really nice drapey fabric. And then you are also going to need a size 7, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And let's get started. And we are going to start with a slip knot here. And then make sure to check out the free pattern over on my blog. There's lots of different sizes available for this blanket, so that will determine what your chain count will be as well as all of the other information you'll need for this pattern. So just follow however many chains you need for the size you're making. And then we are going to be crocheting into the third chain from our hook. So this one right here. So we're going to start with a mini bean stitch. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook again into that same chain and pull up a loop. So you should now have one, two, three, and four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of them. And that is just about it. And then we chain one. This accounts for the width of the stitch as well as that's going to count as the top of your stitch. So now we're going to skip one chain and work into the second one and repeat that. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop again, yarn over and pull through all four loops and chain one. And then you're just going to keep repeating that all the way down. Alright, so here I am at the end of row one. This is how it should be looking. And then we are going to chain one. Technically there's only one turning chain, but you'll have two from your last mini bean stitch there. Okay, so looking at beginning row two, you should see two openings there. We're going to go into the one on the right closest to the mini bean stitch and then work your first mini bean stitch for row two. There we are, chain one, and then we're going to repeat that again. So working into what's considered the side of the stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four loops, chain one, and this is how it should be looking. So it kind of creates an interlocking woven-like texture. Also, the measurements here are loosely based. This is a very stretchy, drapey project. So if your measurements don't wind up being exactly the same as what I have listed over on my blog, don't worry. That's all right. It's just the nature of this stitch. So that's the end of row three there of my swatch. That's how it should be looking. And here is my finished swatch, just to kind of give you a better idea of how it should be looking. Very loose and drapey. And that mini bean stitch is just so cute. I loved using it for this project, but it would also work well for all kinds of things. So definitely make sure to look at my free pattern linked in the description below over on my blog for all the information you'll need. And I hope you love your old fashioned throw. Thanks for watching.